as we come around um, a few years ago I'll show you uh, actually in 2016 Roy Keane came over and did a, a Q&A for the charity um, Roy was absolutely brilliant um, you know he, he was great not only on the night in the Q&A but also the following morning with the kids uh, here at Centre Point and there on top there there's two uh, 2017, Sir Alex Ferguson came over um, and as part again of the charity did a mental health uh, awareness event. So you know, two absolutely top names to bring over and give loads of publicity to the charity. Okay so we'll take you further round and as we come across here these are just some books that are set out. So these books, for example, a guide to attachment, looking after, looked after children, a guide to mental health at work, and then how to create a positive future. So these are books that the, the parents, that the community can lift um, if they want to have a wee read, just to, I suppose, learn a little bit more about mental health. These are some of the sites that are set out at the facility. So again, the whole idea of it is that it's, it's a comfortable shared space and um, that anybody that, would, that wants to sit and um, just, I suppose, take a little bit of time out and um, read some of the booklets and, and books in regards to mental health. So it's very soft touch. These, this is just the notice board. So we've got various things in regards to um, the mental health message, but in particular, um, you know, the Inspire gives stress and, and well-being advice, you know, so there's plenty of, of advice on hand, but it's soft touch, so it means that people don't have it thrown in their face. Just keep that up, so... Uh, that's 1996-97, the, the first team squad in it. So there's a few big names. Obviously, there's myself between uh, Gary Pallister, Yardy Cruyff, but obviously huge names like Erla Cantona, you know, there's David May, David Beckham, Ryan Giggs, Kino, you know, and I think there's Ali Gunner as well, the current manager. So, you know, it, it's great sometimes, and even for myself, just to reflect back on that, because, you know, sometimes you forget about what you've achieved as well. So, that's the reception. Um, I'm going to bring you into the, um, just before I bring you into the reception, I'll, I'll show you. This is um, Cycle Against Suicide, um, Shoulder to Shoulder. It's a booklet in which um, cyclists ride all over Ireland uh, to raise money for Cycle Against Suicide. So we actually held the event a couple of years back. You know, so there are hundreds of cyclists in here. Um, and I'll now bring you into one of the uh, multi-purpose um, sports areas. So, <clears throat> now this, this facility is just being leased. So it's important to remember that, you know, we're just, um, we're, we have at the minute um, a proposal for a permanent facility to go in partnership with the school, Tully Galley Primary School. Uh, so this is just a lease facility at the minute, but it's just to give children, I suppose, the opportunity to go and play and play in various sports. So we have the football, tennis, or the, sorry, there we go, the table football here. Yeah. Okay, and as I bring you further in, then we have the 3G sports facility. So, okay, so that's just to give you an idea of the area that we have. So, within this area, we do loads of various sports and, and our service users, whether it's for five aside, um, whether it's for multi purpose games. You know whether it's for the likes of circuits so that's all used within it so it's all in terms of the health and well-being message i'm just gonna bring you back out
do a lot of the recycling as well. Um, so what we do is the bottle tops. We collect the bottle tops from the kids and, and from the local community, and then we recycle those. So um, all in all, you know, there's a lot of very productive work gets done in Santa Point itself. So 